Hello guys, welcome back. Old Beef No Cow here, and the game that we're going to be looking at today is called Race the Sun. Now, I was going to say it's a racing game, but it's not really a racing game. It's kind of a it's kind of a race against the clock game, and the clock being the sun. Now, this is definitely a game I would recommend everyone try out. It's one of those games that's, you know, simple, it's fast, it's easy to pick up. It doesn't really take a lot of time to get into. It's uh it's just uh, an overall fun game. All right, enough of me talking. Let's race the damn sun already. Alright guys, so here it is, Race the Sun. Now as you can tell, you're flying some sort of spaceship or some jet through what they like to call regions. Now, besides having to dodge pretty much everything, you have to pick up uh, multipliers, power-ups. Now, the multipliers are the circle blue triangle things. Now, the green thing, the green crystal, I guess, whatever you want to call it, is a jump power-up. Now, there are other power-ups in the game. I mean, I haven't gotten too far into it. But, yeah, you pretty much get the, uh, the gist of it. Basically, the objective of the game is to get as far as you possibly can by ramping up your multipliers to get, you know, the biggest high score you could possibly get. Now, the game does get pretty challenging. This is only the first region, and I think I, I think I ended up doing this one perfect, so it wasn't too bad. But at the end of each region, I'll show you what you get here. A little bird buddy of yours comes in and he drops extra multipliers for the next round. Now, if you're wondering what that little circle is around the ship, it's uh, it's a magnet power-up. The closer, you know, you don't have to be too close to the things to pick them up. Now, the second region, uh, there you go, I just smashed straight into the wall. Great video. Now, besides me being terrible, I just wanted to give you guys some info on the game. There are power-ups in the game, obviously. No, that was a multiplier we just picked up. There are green little crystals, and there are also other power-ups. I mean, I didn't get really too far into the game, so I can't give you an idea of, you know, what the other power-up colors are or what they do. But as you can see here, we have a jump power-up. Now, this power-up is pretty good for clearing obstacles, you know, without, if you're in a sticky situation, basically. Now the power-up they're going to pick up right here pretty much makes you faster and makes the duration of the sun longer. Now, basically you want the sun to be in, in the sky as, for as long as possible, because that's how, you know, that's how you beat the game, or that's how you get a higher score. If the sun goes down or, you know, if you crash, the game's pretty much over. Now, we're about to go into the second region, and it does get pretty crazy. There's, uh, windmill windmills, there's crazy obstacles that you have to get through. This game does get pretty challenging. I did get a little farther in the game, so if you guys do like this video, if you do like the game, I would definitely check it out. It's definitely worth getting. I think I'm in the second region right here, and it does get pretty hectic. I mean, the things that you can do with the power-ups and string together does make the game really fun. It's a cheap, fun game I would definitely recommend to everybody. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a quick little review of what the game is. It's definitely worth buying. I think it's like four or five bucks on Steam. It's definitely a fun game that I would recommend for everybody. Go check it out. That's all I got for you on this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, stay beefy. Peace! I'm actually doing pretty good. Son of a bitch.